Hi, I'm Steve Cooter with United Static Control Products. Today we're going to uh, do a brief demonstration on how to install snaps on static control mats. If you've seen some of our previous videos, you know we've been around for about 20 years, so we put a few of these snaps on before. Please stick with us and uh, we'll show you how it's done. One. Here we have a static control mat. Now, static control matting comes in either single layer, two layer, like this one. It's conductive on the back surface and static dissipative on the top surface. Or it's three layer, where it has a conductive layer sandwiched between two static dissipative layers. We're going to go over how to install one of our snap kits. These things are really handy. And they come in a package like this. And they have several different parts and pieces of the snap. You've got your male. You've got a female cup. You've got a couple washers and a couple different sized uh, nuts and a little base here. Now, you don't need all those parts but they're handy to have just in case you do. For this, you just go ahead and you punch a hole in the mat. I'll you go ahead and you'll insert this through the back end of it. We'll put the appropriate top on it. Then we run the little screw through the hole and then tighten it with the screwdriver. Space, you can use one of these washers. You want them to be nice and firm and tight. And that's about it. These are ready for the ground cord and all you do is you snap them in place and you attach this to AC electrical ground and your static control mat's completed. One. Now these are your push and cinch style snaps. You'll notice these have four ears on the back, nice and pointy. With these kind of snaps, they come in a female or a, feet or a male. Let's go ahead and we'll push one through and we'll show you what's involved in these. Huh? These will be rolled over in place. What you do is you've got your hole in your mat. Now we're going to go ahead and put the base through it. Real simple. Push it through. This is the anvil. Got a little side here that fits inside the base. Top goes on it. And we tap it in place. Now the trick of doing this with these kind of punches is you slightly turn it as you go and voila, you're done. Your snap will look like this with a nice radius on the inside of it. 